Now there he goes again, you see, hopelessly unscientific. Well, this is not to show off the virtues of psychokinesis, elves, or even mushroom speak, but simply to show how, where thought goes, muscles respond. And even when the nerve connections are hopelessly blocked by scar tissue, the drillic glial scar, exercises on the mental level can increase blood flow. So what? Chinese have known about this for 5,000 years. They have even their own unscientific explanation for why a tube full of AIDS virus is apparently rendered inactive as the Qigong practitioner gives it a blast of qi. I've experienced an icy draft that emanated from the palms of a doctor of traditional Chinese medicine in Badaha at his will, in dots or dashes, like pouring methylated spirits on my hands. At the UNESCO-funded conference in Paris, I've seen Qigong practitioners flown in, performing what amounts to levitation at the age of 72. I could harp on about this for days, but it does not cure MS in the West. I've had courses of Reiki and years of Alexander lessons with the best teachers in England and Australia, and all at no avail of providing a cure. Maybe it was slowed down the process somewhat, but can't really tell. During a full bone attack of MS, it is best not to concern myself with the body. I fly aloof, fighting for breath like Stephen Hawking. But when the panic stills, which it always does eventually, I regain what's left of the battlefield by going through the 12 years of mental exercises my house doctor gave me in Paris. The heavenly circuits, small or little, forcing the chi like mental toothpaste along the channels. Money down the drain? At least I've enjoyed myself, and I made a gesture to death.